Hello, this is Bob Langies. This video is going to cover the installation of new brake pads and rotors on a 2007 Ford F-150 pickup truck. First thing you want to do is go and make sure that the brake fluid isn't completely full because during the process this level is going to rise and you don't want it to overflow. If it's too full, you want to make sure that you drain a little bit. This is a picture of the various components of the brake system. So it's important to understand how this brake system works. Starting on the left side you'll see the the caliper assembly and the caliper assembly is composed of a couple different main components. First in the center of that caliper assembly is the bracketing and the pistons that actually make the braking action work. And important to know is that caliper assembly center there is separate from the bracket that you see on the top and then extending all the way to the bottom of that assembly. So that middle assembly has got to float, be able to slide back and forth on those little channels you could see. So in addition to the brake caliper and the bracketing, you have the brake rotor, which is the larger piece there, which we'll be removing and replacing a part as, as part of this job as well. So we'll begin this process by removing the two bolts that are holding the caliper assembly together. Basically these two bolts here, we're going to remove these and then we'll be able to take the center of the brake assembly off so that we could access the bracket. So the caliper is out and now we have two large bolts that we have to remove from the back of the caliper assembly there that one and there's another one down below and it'll let us release that bracket. This is the pistons which we'll address later. We need to compress those back in. But we'll get started to remove those two bolts so we could remove that bracket. So now we'll get that bracket out of the way and you're going to be able to see the mounting holes for the bracket itself as well as the sliders that the caliper uh, bolts onto and then we'll take a look at the pistons that we have that are part of the caliper and we're actually going to compress those uh, in just a minute using another tool. When you go to, the, to do this compression process just make sure you don't pinch that rubber that surrounds each of the pistons. So this is a caliper compression tool. I'm using one of the brake pads to give me some more leverage but uh, just work it in slowly. If you have a single caliper piston it's easier but you gotta go back and forth when you have two. Again just try not to pinch that rubber so you don't break it because if you do that you gotta rebuild the caliper. This is the brake disc itself, the rotor. Uh, we're going to give it a good cleaning with brake cleaner because uh, they are covered with oil so make sure you clean it before you put it on. So here's the caliper all compressed and we've slid a new rotor on here too so you can see how that looks as well. Even though that looks scary on that caliper there, that's not brake fluid. I didn't puncture anything. It was a little spare oil that I, I got on there. And this is the bracket. Uh, before it goes back on, take a look at the hardware that's on the sides. That's the old hardware. With my brake pads, I got a new hardware kit. And you want to make sure you install that and make sure you grease everywhere where the brake pads are going to touch as well so that it doesn't seize up on you and give you problems. And then lastly, this is my brake fluid reservoir after compressing those pistons. I have uh, a full reservoir now, so if it was full to start with, I maybe could have overflowed that and it would have been a problem and had some leakage, but luckily didn't have that problem. Here's another couple comments that I think are important. First and foremost, when you're working on brakes or tires or anything where you have to lift the vehicle, make sure that you secure the vehicle, not only with your hydraulic jack, but also with a jack stand in case something happens. None of this is worth uh, getting hurt over. Uh, second, with regards to parts, make sure you buy the best brake pads and the best rotors because you are saving the money on the labor right so don't cheap out on the parts and you'll get things like the better pad kits that includes the new hardware and uh, the better pad kits also come equipped so that you don't have to spray any kind of anti-squeal backing on the pads which is a big time saver as well you'll be happier if it's not making noise when you're done uh, when you go to reinstall that caliper pay attention to how you've moved the caliper around so you don't twist the brake lines on the F-150 in particular there is enough uh, play in those brake lines that you could twist it and put it back on but it, it really if you look at it closely you'll be able to tell that you twisted it and if you see that you have stop take it off fix it because you don't want to have a problem with brake lines uh, if your rotors are stuck 
uh, which often happens. Uh, see the links in the video. Uh, there's another video that someone put together that did just a great job of showing how to unseize those rotors. I bought all, bought all of the uh, equipment listed in that video, but fortunately I didn't have that problem when I did my job. Uh, don't forget to properly lubricate the little slides where the, bra where the uh, brake pads sit on. Uh, if you forget, take them off, do it again. Because the last thing you want is to have do all do all this work and have it uh, fail again in a short time. And then lastly, I'd say if you're uncomfortable with the process, not sure how things should go back together, uh, along with your patients, taking pictures is an excellent way to be able to go back and remember how things were. Because if you do it slowly and you pay attention, there's really nothing complicated here, and you know you could save yourself hundreds of dollars. I've had the same brake job performed in the past on a similar vehicle, and I've paid five or six hundred dollars for it. And for this brake job, I was done in less than $150 in parts. So good luck with your own brake job. And if you need more help, take a look. There's plenty of other videos out there to help. Thanks so much.